what I'm trying to create here is a popping noise on the can, <clears throat> which means that I'm flexing the can. What helps is when you open the door and there's a difference in temperature. Again, it's all about finding that tolerance. There's hardly any movement of anything happening out there. You can see none of the branches are moving. There we go. All right. So I think that helped when I raised my, raised my hand and then dropped back down. What that did is that relaxed the kind of fascia in my body just slightly. And just so you know, this door has been open the whole time. And when I was filming before, <clears throat> and the air had come on. So the air is on, and the heater is on, and there's cool air coming in. It's not super, super cold. There's no snow on the ground or anything like that. The other thing that I've been thinking is, Energy doesn't come from outside of you. Or if it comes from outside of you, it also comes from inside of you. And so what I mean by that is... Your aura... And I learned this from a woman who can see auras, like, really, really well. She was kind of born with that ability. Your physical body doesn't have an aura. It's rather that your physical body grows out of the aura. And then the question becomes, where did the aura come from? And to me, where the aura came from, you can imagine this time and space, this dimension, as having holes in it, little, little, tiny holes. And you as spirit have focused yourself and pushed yourself <clears throat> little by little. And so, like, your chakras are like portals to these other dimensions, to the spirit realm, whatever you want to say. So it's like, let's say you have a block of cheese, right? And you have this grate, this very, um, you have this wire with like maybe inch, you know, inch uh, squares made up of a lattice of wire. You can take that cheese and you can press it down through the wire. And so where you are, you can imagine, is outside of the universe, this dimension, time and space, whatever. And projection is you taking this block of cheese this essence and pressing it through those holes and it's focused in one area so you could have a big grate right but you've got this block of cheese in your hand and you're pressing only that area and this is what produces the aura now that aura solidifies, densifies parts of itself. And so it's on a spectrum, right? So you have the super subtle energy, which is kind of like your aura, and then it gets thicker and thicker and thicker until eventually you have the physical body. But before you even have like the bones and the flesh and stuff, you have water 
in your body. You have blood, right? You have the air that you're breathing. And you have the chi, which is in your body. Now you'll notice all this time, this thing has not made that sound. Now the can made the sound when I stood up. The door had been like this. I opened the door a little bit more. Whoops, the door had been like this, right? I opened the door a little bit more to about here. And I started thinking about sacred geometrical forms in and around the body, and I've talked about that before. But I've often asked myself, What is creating that? Are those things there already? Or, just like the aura, are those sacred, sacred geometrical forms being created moment by moment? Are they being pulled through from another dimension? And so, in a way, what I found is in order to connect more powerfully to anything that I'm trying to move, especially when it's outside, is I first project out from me these sacred geometrical forms. And sometimes it takes a little while. Somebody was walking by, I don't need them looking into my apartment. Okay. 